Today we're doing a five minute guide on how to clean your camera sensor, which I've never done before. Yeah, I know, I've seen your sensors. I've been able to go this long while just cleaning the sensor with just this thing, but it's getting to the point where I'm just seeing too much crap on the sensor and uh, I gotta go in and just clean it myself. Usually I have the professionals do it. I mean, why not clean it yourself? It's not that hard. You, it's you just really... intimidating, because it's just like you open it, it's like, that's the sensor. If you f that up. You're actually not cleaning the sensor itself. You're cleaning a glass. So whether that be an OLPF or some sort of mosaic filter that's on top of it. So you're not gonna like scrape pixels off. The other thing too is a lot of people don't know that they're Cameras are dirty because a lot of people are shooting wide open. You don't start to see all that debris on your sensor till you stop down to like a 16 and then your sky has, you know, all, all those, those little, dots, yeah. all the little dots in your sky. That's because your sensor is really dirty or your lens is really dirty. The first thing that I always do when I'm cleaning anything is gloves. You've got grease on your hands, which can get onto the ChemTech and then get on the lens. So start with a clean environment, clean hands. Grab your microfiber like this and then just start scrub. No, don't ever. <laughs> so the microfibers pick up dirt, which is great but then you rub it back on your lens, so now you have a piece of sandpaper. Or you could just do what I do and just... Right, well, this, so I was gonna say, the next one is just grab a t-shirt <laughs> and grab your expensive Cook lens and start rubbing it. So that's the other one, is no t-shirts. We wanna use all single-use stuff. Flashlight, really key, because that can let you get in and actually see where the dust is. And then I've heard other people say, oh, don't shine lights right into your sensor. Your sensor is a light accumulating device, so this is totally fine. But what light don't you want to put in your sensor? Oh yeah, lasers. Yeah, don't no. want to do lasers. <laughs> we'll, uh, don't don't put a laser pointer real into, fast. Your, into your sensor to show your friend where the debris is. <laughs> so some mirrorless cameras rest with the shutter closed like that. So most cameras have like a sensor cleaning mode where it just opens up the shutter. On the Venice, you can actually just remove these screws. An E-mount! And it makes it much easier to get in and clean. And look, that's super dirty. How much of it can we get off with just this thing? Some of it, but Most actually, it. actually, there's still quite a bit on there still. Yeah, yeah right. you always want to start with air. Yes, because if you have debris on the lens and then you wipe that, you're just going to scratch it. We do want to reduce the amount that we're touching the sensor because anytime you're cleaning glass, right, if you do it over and over, you're going to apply some amount of abrasion. Use good quality cleaner stuff. Yeah. I've used some bad quality stuff and it leaves more residue than it cleans off. I've also found that these aren't really shelf stable for a long period of time. So I would replace your sensor cleaner like every year. So I'm gonna rip open my single use swab here and we're gonna pull this out. So the swabs come in full frame and APC or Super 35. Make sure you have the right swab for your sensor because it will be a different size. So this matches the width. You never wanna take the fluids and just put it straight onto the sensor. Oh, like this? No. no. <laughs> On one side, so you just want it wet enough. You don't want it soaked. The other side's dry. I'm gonna take the wet side, I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure and push it against the sensor. And I'm gonna swipe one direction all the way across. Then I'm gonna turn it over to the more dry side and swipe back the other direction and then take it off and throw it away and then don't use it again. Look at that, perfectly clean Ooh. sensor. So how much pressure are we supposed Enough to Enough to have just a little bend to the whole thing. There you go. A nice little bend. Ooh. And then go back the other way. Yep. Now for the drying pass. Ooh, that's Perfect. looking pretty good. If you make a mistake, it's not like, oh my God, my camera's ruined. You just do it again. Just do it till it's clean. So this one's got IBIS. Your IBIS sensor is only moving, what, a half a mil in every direction. So cleaning approaches the same way. If you have any residue left, don't use the same swab again. Unfortunately, if you have a bunch of residue, you gotta start the process over and use a new swab. Because again, just like with our microfiber, this picks up debris. So any of that dust or grease that was on the sensor will just get scratched right back onto it. Well, when it comes to trying to just keep the sensors clean in the first place, generally try to keep this thing closed. Unless you're swapping out lenses or doing something mm -hmm. specific. What are the biggest mistakes you see? Scrubbing is the thing I see when people clean both lenses and sensors the most, is getting in there and rubbing and scrubbing on it. And you just don't want to do that. It's one single motion and done. The main thing is, is just maintaining your gear, whatever it is, whether it's a sensor or just wiping your camera down. If your camera is always on the floor of your car with a bunch of dog food and pizza boxes, then Why yeah, you gotta call me out like that, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying how I've seen your car, that's all. <laughs> and also thank you to today's sponsor, Beards. Beards? Yeah, it's coming There's back. There's no beard, I cut Look at this, I'm trying out this no shave November thing. I do. There's yeah. no hair there. What are you talking about? There's a lot, you just need the macro lens. Close up time. Look at all these hair. This, this is literally, I shaved this morning. <laughs> How long have you been growing that for? Since the beginning of November. 